I don't think so, Anna. I really think this was a stolen election. Uh, there's a lot of signs that there were major improprieties. First of all, there were nearly 40 million votes cast, and two hours after the polls had closed, they already announced Ahmadinejad's victory. And these votes are hand counted in Iran. Another example I give is that Musavi, who is an ethnic Azeri Turk, overwhelmingly lost the province of Iranian Azerbaijan. And what I tell people, it's like the equivalent of Barack Obama losing the African-American vote to John McCain in 2008. So there were major signs that there was uh, some, some serious improprieties here. The level of anger and protests on the street seems to have, have caught the regime off guard. Will this anger subside or will it manifest into to something much greater? It's difficult to say. It will depend in many ways in many ways on what the opposition candidates decide to do. We've never in the 30-year history of the Islamic Republic seen the revolutionary elites so divided. Someone like former President Hashemir Rafsanjani, who was really a founding father of this Islamic Republic, is now an opposition candidate. Uh, Musavi himself, who was prime minister in the 80s, is now very much an opposition candidate. They feel the election was stolen from them, and they believe they have a majority of popular support on their side. And if they implore people to go to the streets, and tomorrow they're planning a, a, a public uh, a protest, uh, these, these results, th th this tumult may not subside anytime soon. So how will the regime deal with these protesters? You know what they do, Anna? They have um, repression down to a science. And before the elections, they ease political and social restrictions because they want to project a democratic face to the world. Uh, at times like this, though, when there's uh, rallies that are kind of getting out of hand, they usually show overwhelming force to nip it in the bud. So I think that if tomorrow you see more protests, I, I think we can, uh, I, I would anticipate that we'll see an overwhelming show of force by the regime so these protests don't start to mushroom and grow out of hand. Now, Musavi and his supporters have lodged an official appeal regarding the result. Uh, but really, nothing is going to be done without the Supreme Leader uh, intervening. And that's not going to happen, is it? It's probably not going to happen unless he feels that his uh, sustenance, his st sustainability at, of, as leader is at stake. And the reason why is that uh, I believe that he was the one who was behind this power grab. I believe that Ayatollah Khamenei himself had a major role and the rigging of this election. President Ahmadinejad was his candidate from the very get-go. Uh, so he's not exactly an objective actor in this situation, but the opposition candidates are trying to appeal to Khamenei before they take their supporters to the streets. Uh, but I'm not sure how Khamenei walks back from this.